This is Jay and I'm with a new video about the working process of my Unity game Irwin's Time Warp. Okay, so let's start. Today I want to show you how to add an animation to this stone column. It has one of the time machine parts that Irwin has to collect at the top. So I have to move the column downwards in an animation that is triggered dynamically by something. I don't know the whole logic yet. But I will test this in a box collider or in a trigger. When Irwin is entering the trigger, the animation should be played. But first we have to create the animation, of course. So open the animator window and I like to dock it here at the bottom. Okay, now I press create for creating this animation for the column. Set the name and the directory. And now I enable the automatic keyframes so that every time that I change the location of this column, a keyframe is added, okay? So I don't have to do it manually. Now let's start here at that position. I like to move this just slightly and then a keyframe is added. Then I move to the end position with the slider and bring it down. And we're done, that's the whole animation. You see, you can move here with the slider through the timeline and you can preview the animation. I will enlarge this a little bit. And now we can play this. Yeah, that's a realistic speed that we can go with. Okay, now that's an easy task, right? Very easy. Then open the animator controller. This is the controller we have to use in the script we will write later on to start the animation dynamically. And this will be done when a bool parameter that I'm going to define now is set to true. Okay, how could we call this parameter? Let's call it go down. And it should be of type bool. Okay, you see it has a checkbox, you can check it, then the value is true. If it isn't checked, then it is false. Now I will add a default state, an empty default state. And from this empty state, I will add a transition to the wall down animation we just added. And this is only executed if the go down parameter is set to true and the default are set to false. And that's it for the animator controller. Okay, next part, coding. Coding is fun. Say it three times, please. No, really, you can control so much with code. And we are going to add a script to this column. And I call this wall down. Okay, then I will move the script to my scripts folder that I have for the third level. Okay, but just moving down this column is a bit too boring, right? So I think we will add a particle system, a smoke particle system to this column so that when it is moving down, the particles, the smoke is emitted. This should look really cool and dramatic. So add this particle system to the column. And I set the position to zero and this should match. And let's see how this will look like. The preview, yeah, really cool, really cool. Okay, that's the setup. And now finally the coding part, my favorite part. <laughs> Open Wishes Studio, the wall down script and let's code. I think we can derive from my base class I defined for interactable objects. It's basically a mono behavior. It's called iInteractable and we can get rid of the start and the update method. And then I will define a variable, a game object for this particle system for the smoke. And then I switch back to the Unity editor. Select the column and now my game object for the smoke should appear. Yes, here it is. And now I drag 
the particle system into the slot for the smoke. Okay, but let me think. Well, we want to play an animation and we want to play or we want to emit the particle system. So we don't have to derive from I interactable because this is for objects that we want to use or to collect. So mono behavior is the correct base class. Okay, next part, awake. The method is called when the object is created. And in this method, I want to get the animator. So I will define a private variable of type animator and assign it here in the awake method. Use get component animator ready. And now comes the part when the player is entering a trigger that I have to define for the column. So I will steal this on trigger enter from a, a different class and paste it in here and then I use the animator to set this parameter we defined for the animator controller go down to true. All right, the animation is played. Now what is missing? Of course, we have to play the particle system. I use the get component method of the smoke variable we defined to get the particle system and play it. And always add comments, really important. And for this on trigger enter to be executed, we need a trigger. Let's add a box collider for the column. Set is trigger to true and adjust the size. The size and the shape doesn't really matter now. This is just for testing the animation and our particle system. Later on, I will add a more elaborated logic to let this column go down. Perhaps the player has to hit it at a certain point with the spear. I don't know yet. Perhaps you have ideas. Bring it in. I really need this. Okay, now we have the trigger defined. And then don't forget to set the loop time to false because the animation will be played only once. And before we start the first test, I forgot something here in the on trigger enter. We have to check if the collider is the player because otherwise this on trigger enter method is always executed and this is not what you want. Okay, the collider has a game object and this game object has a name. Now I don't have to use the name, I have to use the tag. And I have a static class with all the tags and one tag is the player tag. And that's the method to check if the player is really entering this trigger. And now we're almost done. But I see that we have to drag the particle system out of this parent-child relationship with the column because when the column goes down, the particle system will also go down and then we don't see it. Okay, and this was really the last thing we had to do before we can test this and now hit play and see if it works. Yeah, this thing is going down, the particles are emitted. Now I'm able to collect this time machine part. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And this little guy is coming, look at this. <laughs> He's also happy. Very good. Guys, it would really help if you could support me on my Patreon so that I have more time to finish the game, to buy some assets and something like that. If you liked the video, let me know and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon on JNM.